I thought this was like the easiest health victory. Like I get to take out my feeding too. <laughs> and now it's like this long drawn out mysterious process. Okay, I wasn't gonna vlog because I, we got back late last night and you know, I mean, uh, well, we're just kind of, long, I know, right? I've been trying to get my hair cut. I called the salon place so many times and they don't answer and I need to do that. We went to Maryland for the weekend. I was speaking at a men's retreat and then I spoke Sunday morning <laughs> at uh, the church that Mary and I grew up at. And so it was a busy weekend. I spoke five times this weekend. Camera died. Maybe we're a little out of practice. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I saw the camera, the battery flashing, but I was like, it'll be fine. It'll last, you know, like. So you were saying highlights. Yes. Elijah got to meet his great grandparents. That's my mom's parents. And that was really sweet. Yes, that was really sweet. We got to spend time with both of our families. I'd okay. like to go, I need to go to the grocery store to get some flowers for our neighbor who snuggled with Harry while we were gone. Oh, it was really sweet. They, they formed a friendship, but what was also sweet was we haven't traveled with Oliver oh, in yeah. a while, and we took him on this trip, and it was a lot of fun. It was awesome. And, so we had a full car. <laughs> oh yeah. But and Harry gets car sick now, and so Harry doesn't travel anymore. No, 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 no. no, no. And he's very content to sleep a lot. Yeah. <laughs> but he was very happy when we got home. Yes. So. Okay, that's our day. Let's do it. Let's but do it. Let's, let's do go. It. Let's go. Let's go. But before I get up, I'm gonna call because I have an appointment with general surgery in three days. And I'm really curious if, like, what's going to happen on that day. So this appointment is for my feeding tube. The I was told that if it doesn't close in three to four weeks, then it might need a surgical closure. And it's been over three weeks. The surgeons, my CF team, nobody could get me seen or consulted before Thursday and that was scheduled like 10 days ago. So they just yeah, I think about 10 days in I realized this feeding tube probably isn't gonna close on its own and Here we are over three weeks and Yeah, it's not closing and it's like pouring out jejunum juices all day every day It's not gonna close most likely so I'm seeing a random, like I've never met these people. It's at a different location. It's my hospital, but a different location. And I would like to call and find out because from, from some people I'm hearing, like from some medical professionals I'm hearing, they'll just throw a stitch in it, like in the office. And then from other professionals I'm hearing, no, you can't just top stitch it. Like you have to like do a surgery and close the whole feeding tube hole. I have no idea. I don't know what to expect. I don't know if I should be fasting when I go in there. I don't know if this is just a conversation or if they're gonna be doing stuff. I would like to know ahead of time. I would like to know how to prepare. So I'm going to call the office <clears throat> and see. I have no idea, but I'm glad. I'm still glad that I took it out. I would have loved to have had this sort of information beforehand and also maybe be scheduled beforehand so that, I don't know. I don't really know what would have been a good pathway, but this feels, yeah, um, I'm still happy I took it out. I'm still thankful that I'm stable enough to take it out. And now I'm gonna figure out what the next step is. Hang up and, and maybe after this call, 
I can call and get a haircut. Hours are Monday. And now, a word from our sponsor. When Mary and I were setting up Elijah's baby room, one of the pieces of technology that I researched was baby monitors and the one we ended up landing on was from a brand named Eufy and so when Eufy reached out to sponsor our vlog and show you their new baby products we were excited to partner with them we've been using Eufy products for years our doorbell camera our security cameras and so they have a new baby smart sock and baby monitor. This is a 2K monitor and the smart sock will monitor oh, heart rate baby. and give you sleep analysis. And so I'm excited to unbox these and see how they work. If the smart sock detects abnormal heart rate or movement, the smart base has a speaker and light that will notify me as well as send a notification to my phone. While the baby naps, this is what the cat wants to do. Snuggle. It's pretty cool. You can see all the information here. It tells you if he's peaceful, calm, or if he's active. Look at him. And then, oh, so we have so his heart cute. rate here, and then we can turn on the baby monitor, and we can move it around and look at him. How do I zoom? Is it this? Um. Or do you just pinch it? Maybe, oh Aww. yeah. Oh, look at him. <laughs> he's just so cute. After Elijah's done with his nap, it'll give me sleep insights into like reports about how his sleep was, and then you can kind of look back at the day and see how much sleep did he get at naps and things like that. But one of the things I appreciate is they don't require any subscriptions for any of the reports or things like that. If you guys want to check out Eufy Smart Sock, there's a link down in the description. When I heard you say you can look back and see the report about his sleep throughout the day, I was like, yes, because I'll think I'm gonna remember what time he went down or what time he woke up, but then I don't remember. I think it's called Mom Brain, so this can help you out. We'll return you now to your regularly scheduled program. Okay, it sounds like they just have me scheduled for an observation and consult or something, and so they would schedule the stitches uh, at a later time, and. I have no idea how long out that would be. And if you would have told me, like, when I took it out, that it would be well over a month before it would be closed, I would be like, not loving that idea, but it's fine. I got through it, or I will. <laughs> it's not over, <laughs> but we'll see what happens. Ugh. Ugh. I thought this was like the easiest victory, like health victory, like I get to take out my feeding too. <laughs> and now it's like this long drawn out mysterious process. And the feeling of the feeding tube, like it's, <laughs> it's yeah, it's just like an open, it's not a wound. Um, it's an open tunnel to my digestive tract so sometimes when your like gi tract is like more active it's like squirting out like abdominal juices a lot a lot a lot I, when i was rocking elijah this weekend <laughs> i guess whatever position i was in it just was the perfect position for my jejunum to um share its contents rapidly and there was a lot coming out and not the best but also not the worst I've figured out because I don't know um one of my somebody on my CF team was saying maybe because it's my jejunum and not my stomach maybe the acid is like more acidic because it was really really bothering my skin but I've kind of gotten that under control I'm using um, this like skin barrier cream that 
was recommended to me when I first got my feeding tube and I've never needed it as much as I need it now. And that helps. And then skin prep, Cavalon or like any skin prep, that helps as well. So if you are also dealing with the same thing, those are the two things that helped me. And it has to be covered at all times with lots of gauze. And then I just tape it down and this is like four two by twos. It's a four by four that I fold into quarters. But anyway, um, and sometimes that lasts 10 minutes and sometimes it lasts a few hours. Just depends on how active my stomach is, I guess, or my jejunum. Okay, <clears throat> next thing. You know what I should do? I should get out of this sweatshirt. The sweatshirt, I don't always get a lot done. Sometimes it makes me feel kind of frumpy. So it's just a um, consult and observation. Observation. So we'll see what happens. Okay, okay, okay. Let's go take a nap. <laughs> okay. Yes, this is amazing. Thing. <laughs> All right, we just aren't really sure which way's up and which way's down and what we're supposed to do. So we're gonna run to the grocery store. We wanna get some flowers for our neighbor who watched Harry for us. And we need to get a couple groceries and stuff. So we're gonna run to the store and I will update you that I no longer have four four by fours I have, or two by twos. I have more like eight, eight packs because it already drenched. That's why I'm going to the surgeon. It's still pouring out of me. Okay, I got a haircut. And we trimmed Elijah's hair around his ears. Oh, yes, yeah, his hair was kind of scraggly around his ears, so we just did a little trim trimmery with my uh, beard hair clippers. Mary's completing our family haircut day. I got a hold of the hair cutter place. It's a 6 p.m. appointment, so Elijah and I are gonna hang out while Mary gets her hair cut and then we'll rush home for Elijah's bedtime. And if you are not a brave driver, I feel you. And we can do this! Yeah, Mary's driving a lot lately. I'm proud of her. Okay, he's dropping me off, but we're just She's in this like alley. in front of that black like wall or something. Okay, ready? Okay. It's gonna be like a slow-mo. Okay. It's like a full body Okay, spin. okay, okay. Ready? ready? I'm ready. And then there, there's going to be an after. Okay. What am I doing? <laughs> faster, spin faster so it flows. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay go get your haircut. The following day. Let's just say Mary's haircut <laughs> took longer than we expected, and it was pushing this guy's bedtime before we got home. So we didn't get a chance to show you the big reveal, honey. It's time for the big reveal. <laughs> I'm wearing the same design. Oh, you were wearing a shirt? Oh, look at you! It's certainly not what I asked for, but oh well. It's good. This I, is a great angle. Yeah, it's a really good angle. Great lighting. Yep. Looking good, huh? No. So, the reality is I keep my hair in a ponytail at all times because baby vice grip on hair feels not good. So, it's going to be up anyway. It's shorter than she expected. It's shorter and the style isn't the same. Yeah. So, but it, it was a good experience. The person who was cutting it, it's a place for students. And I think that she was maybe very early on. So, it was cool to see her gain confidence and the instructor would be like, here, I will show you how to do it and then you try it. And she was nervous and I think she, you know, she didn't want to mess it up or anything. <clears throat> And so we, uh, she would try it and then the instructor would be like, see, you did it. And I'd be like, you did it. Just do it. <laughs> so that part was fun. And there we are. This guy's about ready for a nap. Are you going oh, to sleep? You oh, want to come going? to daddy? Oh, oh, or you just want to get down. Oh. Ready? Set. Oh, well, here ready? we go. Sit. A boom, 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 boom. Look. 
Look at you, big man. Look at you, big man. Wait, I feel like this should be the next day's vlog. <laughs> oh, yes. Okay, well, let's wrap it up here, and we will say, as always, see you next time. Night, Ollie boy.